Hi, welcome back to the Indonesian homestead. I'm gonna add a little bit information about rabbits today. <coughs> we have uh, upgraded or expanded a little bit our, our rabbit operation here. <coughs> the, the first thing is we are making we are having rabbits for meat production. And there are some uh, breeds of rabbits that are the best. Uh, the most common is New Zealand White, that's the name of that breed, and uh, that's the ones we see here, they are all New Zealand White breed here. <coughs> they are the best because they are easy to deal with, they are calm, they are not you know, too aggressive like some other breeds are, and they have the best meat to bone ratio. Um, <coughs> In some places they might be a little bit more expensive than other breeds, but... <coughs> hey, I'm down here, okay? Alright, thank you. Thank you. Alright. Anyway... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll deal with you later. So, um... Excuse me. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. Just wait. Alright. Yeah, yeah, just relax, guys. Okay. Yeah, those are the cows. They, they want attention. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, so <coughs> as I'm saying, you know, they might be a little bit expensive, but you you actually just need a male and a female to get started. All right, because uh, once they breed, and that's easy, you you make sure you have two individual cages, one for each of them. You take the female into the male. Give it five ten minutes. It does its job there, and you put the female back, <coughs> and you do that a couple of times, maybe every two or three days, <coughs> until the female doesn't seem willing. And usually, it's maximum a week it will be pregnant. Then you wait thirty days because the pregnancy is about thirty days, and it uh, and you make a, a nesting box something like this. <coughs> put some hay inside or something similar with hay <coughs> and you just let nature take its course. Once you have that, if you are <coughs> lucky, you can have around average of 10 babies from the rabbit, <coughs> which is enough for you to start your production. So <coughs> you just need a male and a female. Hey, calm down. You're too noisy. So we really like our New Zealand white here. <coughs> there are, we have some uh, some babies in here. You can have a look down here. There's, uh, I think six or seven. I think it's six, but uh, might be seven. I don't want to disturb them because the mothers don't like that people are messing with her babies. So we try to leave them alone. <coughs> we got a we got an Australian male here. So we got that, <coughs> just to make it a little bit more interesting, we got, uh, this is a Californian, it's another breed that's also very uh, well known for, for meat production, very successful in that, we, that's another Californian, another Californian right there, we got a couple of very young New Zealand right here. <coughs> anyway, a couple of things I should mention. <coughs> As you can see, this is a commercial. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, guys. Come on, give me a break here. All right. Just wait. Just 10 minutes more. Okay. Yeah, all right. Anyway, so, <coughs> as you can see, <coughs> they are sitting because this is a commercial, this is easy to clean, the, the, the poo and the pee, that's why this has a specific size, it just goes through. The poo is just that size that it can just fit through here, and you can clean it easily. So it's a commercial, <coughs> so it's important that you have a way to clean it easily daily. But the problem is, because we have these uh, metal 
this grid here. They don't like it, it's not good for their feet. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. So they sit on the grass, which is technically their food. Or you can uh, put a couple of pieces of wood like this inside the cage. So they will be sitting on that. This one over here, you can, sit, you can see it's sitting on, on the wood right there. <coughs> the little one is doing the same. <coughs> so you put the board close to their food so they can sit there and, you know. So that's how uh, they're dealing with that. <coughs> if you buy commercial food to give them, it's gonna be, it's still gonna be feasible. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be feasible, but it's gonna be, <coughs> you can't really use it for, you know, selling the, the rabbits because by the time that they're ready to, to be slaughtered, <coughs> when they're around two and a half kilo, then they're around three to four months. That time, <coughs> the amount that they have, <laughs> The amount they have been eating is quite equivalent to the price of a rabbit, so it's not really uh, practical. <coughs> the only way I would do rabbit, and the only reason I am doing rabbits, is because we have <coughs> we have plenty of grass on our farm and other plants that they can eat. We do have um, uh, kitchen waste that we can give them as well. <coughs> of course, we don't have a kitchen waste to give all of them every single day, but because we have a huge amount of, of plants to give them, which is the most natural uh, food, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> as you can see, they're eating that. We are supplementing, because we are just starting this production, we are supplementing with the commercial feed, but we only give them a small amount, and mostly it's the grass. Otherwise, it's simply not uh, feasible to do it. <coughs> it could be technically, <coughs> you could say, it's, t it, uh, it's feasible if you're just using it for your own survival to have these rabbits. Um, but for a business, you need to supply all the feed yourself without having to buy it. <coughs> we could have made our own uh, cages, but um, just for the practicality, I like to. I bought these a little bit expensive. Uh, commercial made. <coughs> it's a nice amount of space they have. And then <coughs> what we do is we are making a, a, an enclosure so once in a while we, we let them all out to run around so they kind of you know get a little exercise. Oh yeah that's another reason why we put the wood there. <coughs> Excuse me I have a bit of a cold. The wood that we put them is not treated wood and the reason is because it's good for them to have some wood to uh, bite on <coughs> so they don't get teeth problem they usually get teeth problem if they don't have a chance because the feed is not um, what do you call it it's not uh, strong enough or not hard enough to actually um, challenge their teeth <coughs> and they, although they are not beavers so they don't uh, take down trees, they're not beavers, but in nature they do uh, chew on, on branches to take the bark and so on, so so it's, it's good to put that wood inside. Um, which is also why when you see some people who are making their wood cages with uh, chicken wire and stuff like that, you see sometimes there's a, you know, a lot of places where they have been biting. And it's not because they're trying to get out, it's simply because they, they need that to exercise their teeth. <coughs> so what else? Oh yeah, never leave the males together because they will start fighting for you know dominance. <coughs> and never leave the male and female together. You know, give them five ten minutes, do their business, their breeding, and take it, separate them again because otherwise sooner or later you will have uh, the female will castrate the male and then he's not good anymore and he might he might die. He could kill him actually. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so what else is interesting? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> oh yeah, another thing I might mention is 